Okay, now we have the concept of method of substitution or change of a variable. Now, here we shall be changing sometimes the variable. Suppose now I want to find the value of 3x raised to 5 the whole raised to 6. Okay, I want to find this. The standard way of doing it is this. Another way of doing it is we can let 3x plus 5 be equal to say m. So now you differentiate <coughs> both of them on both sides. So you end up getting d by dx of 3x plus 5 is nothing but dm. So eventually this is nothing but d by dx. So it's going to be nothing but derivative of 3x plus 5 is 3dx. So 3dx is equal to dm. That means dx is equal to dm by 3. Now we are going to substitute these two over here. So 3x plus 5, you have to taken it as m. But once you sub substitute some variable, the dx also has to be changed. So into dm by 3. So eventually this is nothing but m raised to 7 upon 7 into 1 by 3, which is going to be Again, substituting back 3x plus 5 raised to 7 upon 21, which we would have got even if we had done using the concept of special variable, as we had mentioned earlier. So, what we have done over here is when we have taken the expression as another variable, even the when you differentiate or the different dx also changes according to that variable and we need to change that. Later on when it comes to definite integration, you come across cases where you may have to change the domain also according to that. But basically, this is a very easy method or a very sensible, logical, smarter way of dealing with uh, expressions. Still now we have come across expressions which look very simple, hence it's basic application. So later on we may come across expressions which may confuse you, which may put you in a quandary then how to go about doing this. So we have to strike it as to how we need to change the variable accordingly. Okay. So for example, when we have a function and its derivative, <coughs> we have 5x squared plus 4x plus 3 raised to 4 and 10x plus 4 dx. One of them, you can change it to a variable. We won't take the power raised to 4 as a variable. Now, which one among these should we take as the variable, say, t? Should we take 10x plus 4 as t or 5x squared plus 4x plus 3 as t? How do we decide? We have to take the term which has got a higher degree or a higher variable, higher index of the variable as t because the derivative of that is going to be the smaller one. So roughly, suppose you take this 5x squared plus 4x plus 3 as t. Check whether the derivative of that is 10x plus 4. Yes. So among these two, we need to take 5x squared plus 4x plus 3 as the variable. So suppose you need to do that, we can say let 5x squared plus 4x plus 3 be equal to say t. We are taking, we are going to substitute this. Okay, so ultimately this whole thing is going to become t raised to 4, this whole thing. But this is available, this is around here, so this also needs substitution. So now you take d by dx of this, so eventually it gives you 10x plus 4 of dx is equal to d by dx of 10x plus 4 dx is 10x plus 4 dx dt. That means now this 10x plus 4 dx itself is dt. So it's going to be dt. This eventually is t raised to 5 by 5 plus a constant. Now instead of t we can put up this which is going to be 5x squared plus 4x plus 3 divided by 5 plus the constant. Okay. So this is how we go about doing this. Let's take some examples further. Okay. So here you have Let's rewrite this. Hmm. It's e raised to 5x squared plus 4x 
plus 7 into 10x plus 4 dx. So now, e raised to 5x squared plus 4x plus 7. Now, how do we decide? We cannot take this e itself as t. We can take the index. Now, if you see, the derivative of 5x squared plus 4x plus 7 is 10x plus 4. So we can let 5x squared plus 4x plus 7 be equal to say t. So taking derivative on both sides, we get this is 10x plus 4 dx, 10x plus 4 dx. So that means this whole thing itself is dt. So ultimately, this one, what does it become? It becomes e raised to t into 10x plus 4 dx is nothing but dt. So it's going to be e raised to t plus k. So ultimately, it's nothing but e raised to 5x square plus 4x plus 7. Hence, e raised to 5x squared plus 4x plus 7 itself is, they derive it, the integral of this is e raised to 5x squared plus 4x plus 7. So, as I told earlier, if, it, if this had been e raised to 5x plus 4, we could have done using the special variable. But over there, I mentioned, now this is not a linear function of x. In such cases, we use, I told you at that time, we may have to use special other different methods of doing rather than simply modifying the formula. This was the method I was hinting at <coughs> the substitution process. Okay. 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 So now again you have e raised to 5x plus n. There is one way of doing it is of course e raised to 5x plus 7 upon the derivative of 5 that is 5. Right. The other way of doing it is let 5x plus 7 be equal to t. We will verify if we do by this method, are we going to get the same thing here? So taking derivative on both sides, you get 5 dx is equal to dt. Therefore, dx itself is dt upon 5. So if you modify this, we are taking 5x raised to 7 as t. So this becomes e raised to t into dx is nothing but dt upon 5. So it's eventually 1 by 5 e raised to t plus k, which is nothing but e raised to t is nothing but 5x plus 7 upon 5 plus k, which is the same as this, the direct substitution process, a special variable formula which we did. This as well as what we did by substitution, the tally. Okay. But remember the previous slide where we took it as 5x squared. Suppose it is e raised to 5x squared plus 7. We, there has to be a 10x over here. Here we cannot use directly this formula over here because it is not a linear variable of x. It's a quadratic function of x. Okay. Alright. So here you have a raised to 3x raised to 5 plus 7x plus 5. Let's write it this way in a better way. So that you don't get confused. So it's a raised to 3x raised to 5 plus 7x. Normally what happens when we prepare the slides, then there is a power of a power. It becomes a little bit of a difficult to uh, find out special characters to indicate x raised to 5 and this itself is a power. Hence we need to put that arrow mark. Into 15x <coughs> raised to 4 plus 7. Any guesses as to what we need to substitute as t? Among these two expressions, this has the higher power. So take this as t so that its derivative could be this. So, of course, we need to do a little bit of oral checking up to let 3x raised to 5 plus 7x plus 5 be equal to t. So hence, when you take the derivative, it's 5 into 3, 15x raised to 4 plus 7 into dx is equal to dt. So as simple as that, so eventually what will this become? We have taken this as t, so it's going to be a raised to t into 15x raised to 4 plus 7 dx. This whole thing is nothing but dt, so it's going to be a raised to t dt, which is a raised to t upon log a plus k. So it's eventually 
a raised to uh, 3x raised to 5 plus 7x plus 5 upon log 8 it's going to be log 8 so we're taking this whole thing as dx so it's going to be log 8 if we find the derivative of this you're bound to get back this you check it up and see you're bound to get that because if you take the derivative you will end up getting log a into this which will get cancelled eventually so this is how we get this okay so the next based on special sub uh, substitution so here you have because it's this way 10x raised to 4 plus 6 upon 2x raised to 5 6x plus 7 dx now you need to guess twice which one you need to take it as d the one which has got a higher index that is higher degree that is the denominator we take it as t so we can say let t be equal to 2x raised to 5 plus 6x plus 7 so when you take dt you get dt is 5 into 2 10 10x raised to 4 plus derivative of 6x 6, 6 dx so hence the numerator itself is dt so hence the whole thing becomes dt upon t that is it is 1 by t dt which is nothing but log t plus k which is going to be log <coughs> what is our t yes we have a 2x raised to 5 plus 6x plus k plus plus 6x plus 7 I'm sorry plus 7 plus k so it's going to be log of 2x raised to 5 plus 6x plus 7 plus the constant so this is going to be the solution for this much the same way here we take let in this case what do we do 2x raised to 5 plus 6x plus 7 be equal to t and so we have 10x raised to 4 plus 6 dx is dt but here we have is this so we can take out two common and we get 5x raised to 4 plus 3 dx is dt hence 5x raised to 4 plus 3 dx which is the numerator over here is dt by 2 ultimately this is going to be half into this is going to be dt the dt upon t which is going to be half log of t plus k which is going to be half log 2x raised to 5 plus 6x plus 7 plus k this of course can be written as log of 2x raised to 5 plus 6x plus 7 raised to half which is going to be root 2x raised to 5 plus 6x plus 7 plus k which we have it this way okay all right here we have x dx upon x plus 1 now what can we do here now there are two ways of doing it you can write this as you can do the substitution of course and another way we can split this up as x plus 1 minus 1 the whole upon x plus 1 the whole thing dx which is going to be nothing but x plus 1 upon x plus 1 minus 1 upon x plus 1 dx so this is 1 dx which is going to be 1 dx minus 1 upon x plus 1 dx so this is remember it's 1 dx so which is going to be nothing but x minus log of x plus 1 remember if it's a special variable we have to divide it by the derivative of x plus 1 which is going to be 1 which is log x plus 1 upon 1 plus a hence you get x minus log x plus 1 upon k 
So hence we have this, this is not exactly substitution, but just to make you understand that you are substituted instead of x, x plus 1 minus 1. So here we are not changing the variable in any case.